So what you know about Nerf? What's good everybody? Valley here once again, and I've got a box here that was sent to me from Isaac Lin, or otherwise known as 3DBBQ or JSPB, and I think I know what this is because he told me it was about ready. First thing in the box, the Urban Treasure Hunter. Oh, it's like that ARG that he's been working on. I wonder, is this sticker UV reactive? Let me turn off a couple lights. Hmm, kinda. Kinda, sorta. And you can see there's loads of UV reactive stuff in the box here. Alright, let's get this turned back on. Let's set this down here. Oh, these are the tracer stickers. Uh, that you can put on your darts. Um, they're basically just a way so you could seal it at night. These were a bonus that came whenever you pre-ordered this thing. Ooh, it's one of his uh, JSPB medkit slot bracelets. That way, for if you're doing like a PvP-style game or even HVZ, if you um, Instead of having to go do the whole thing with a ribbon, you can just simply slap this on and you've got a med kit on. Which you can then like reset after game types and stuff. That is very handy. I'm going to have to get more of these from him. That'll be nice. And it is super reflective. I think it's got the same material as the, uh, the tracer stickers. Very handy. Oh, he said he was going to include some extra stuff in the box. This is the B&B shoulder stock. Which, I actually already, I have the files for this. I need to print it up and everything. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll install this later. And the BNB Agile Barrel, which is a shorter barrel. And it gives you a universal barrel attachment. Save that for an upcoming video. And the JSPB Urban Ops Pro DIY kit. This is the elite version. Let's set this box to one side here. And uh, yeah. Where's my knife? Here's my knife. Let's see what comes in the box. And maybe I'll even do a build video for this. Ooh, it's the purple and blue one. Yay! I like the purple and blue. Yeah, I got the Elite version, the 1 through 3, 7. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I will get this built, and we'll get things going.
What's good, everybody? Valley here once again. Welcome back to the Messy Workbench. And this time, we've got the Urban Ops Pistol by JSPB. What you see right here is the elite version of the whole kit. It is a single-shot DIY uh, pistol, similar to a Fire Strike, whatever. And the elite version of the kit includes the base blaster, a different set of grips, the bottle opener attachment, which is also a stock attachment point, the dart holder, stroke flashlight holder, and a riser rail, as well as the stock. And as you saw in the intro there, the bottle opener does actually work. It's quite cool. It, the whole idea of it is this is a daily carry blaster. It's uh, meant to go in your everyday carry. And I really like this. The stock simply attaches like this. Under that little notch there. Click in the lock. This piece will slide forward. And now it is attached. It gives you a knuckle guard. And it is locked. It's not going to come undone unless you pull it. Because there is a spring loaded notch in there. There is a way you can actually flick it out by hand by uh by one hand. If you push out with your fingers, which is very handy. And this stock actually is modeled after a real steel pistol stock that folds like this, and it suffers from the same issues that those metal ones have, where there's a little bit of flex, but that's not a bad thing necessarily, because with a real pistol, you're getting a little bit of recoil, and it actually absorbs that a little bit. Kind of interesting. And to, un to fold it back up, you simply push this lock back, and click it in place. And with the pre-order of this, which I had gotten in, he also includes the what he calls the tracers, which are just reflective stickers that you wrap around your darts. Not necessarily that great for flywheels, because it might damage them a little bit, but it makes it easier to find them at night and track your shots at night if you have a flashlight on them. I really like this. Uh, the spring it comes with is uh, about... It's a little heavier than a fire strike, and it gives you about stock elite performance. Let me load one of the glow berries that he includes. You get about stock elite performance with the spring included. But he also has an option on the site for a K26 style spring with the same, same frequency and everything. It's just made for this blaster. It's got flat ends and everything. And another interesting quirk about this blaster is the barrel has the rifling that he pioneered. Uh, normally you ha only have it at the end of the barrel and it's kind of loose. This is a little bit more um, snug on darts because it is half inch CP CPVC, I believe, and the strings grip the darts a little better. I find that certain darts will not work as well in this as other than others because he lives in Taiwan, so atmospheric pressure and all that is a little bit different. I found that the um, the glow berries that he includes, as well as the battle camo elites, work quite well for seal, as well as men gun darts, which I actually need to get a whole lot more men gun darts because those things are quite decent as well. But that's besides the point. It has Picatinny rail on the bottom. The riser here actually adds rail on top for you to add whatever optic you want. I might get myself a new scope for this. And this thing is designed to use whatever 1911 grips that you want. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm quite happy with it. I'll drop a link down below where you can get it. It's a really solid pistol, and it's very, very relaxing to put together. Like, I spent about eh, maybe an hour putting it together, and a lot of that was fumbling around a little bit because I'm a bit dumb. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, it's like putting together a Lego kit or like a Gunpla kit is very relaxing. It's good to just put on some music and do it, because the instructions he includes are very thorough. And uh, let me know what you think, guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.